Hello Gemini, thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your zodiac reading for the next week to 10 days or whenever you click on the title that intrigued you. Let's start with your fairy. No, let's start with your shaman oracles. Um, I just started using these cards again. I usually just use them for personal readings, but they really are too beautiful not to share. What we have is the medicine wheel. This would be the same as the world, however, with a, a deeper meaning to it or a more uh, explicit meaning to it. When you journey to the south, it is about releasing past, releasing the past, the events of the past, the painful parts. When you travel to the West, it is about releasing toxic relationships. So if we're stuck in remembering the past, it's a, it's a movement to the West to remove the toxicity of those relationships that keep you stuck in the past. When you move to the North, travel in this direction to the North, you, um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm just mucking up my words here, but this is about, are you living your passion? Do you know what your passion is? Are you living it? Are you showing it? And finally, to the east, it is about what do you want your future to look like? What? It, where is it you want to go to? Where do you want to go to from here? The card that came up as the companion card was the spiral. So this is your new skin. This also tells you to break the habit of constantly working on your faults, Gemini. I know you guys have been working really, really, really hard, but it's time to break that habit. It's time to get used to this new skin and enjoy it. You're going through a growth period, this newness that is happening to you. And what came up in the fairy oracle um, absolutely uh, confirmed that. This is about the constipated you. <laughs> the things that are holding you back needing to break that habit of always working on yourself it's not funny i never noticed that before but there it maybe it's a leaf but it looks a bit like a wasp which has to do with um the hive mentality or the working together but right now you're held back by this constant working on self and this is about breaking free from that exploring not just your inner world i think you've done enough of that gemini it's time to explore the outer world and do things you haven't done before even kiss a few frogs to see if they turn into princes or princesses i mean that's up to you if you want to do that but it's just a suggestion i pulled up the fairy uh tarot and we came up with the wheel which is yeah fortune's wheel universe moving forward moving you forward moving on your behalf it says delays are over sudden sudden or unexpected good luck a new car or travel yeah travel gemini visit some places do things you haven't done before the king of winter is going to give you some good advice from a professional someone who is objective unemotional relationships could deal with your lawyer lawyer or professional person and the nine of autumn enjoying your independence enjoying your singlehood uh, getting out there and exploring kissing a bunch of frogs cherishing your time yeah this is i think this is a message just through these three uh, these oracles here the message is to honor yourself honor yourself Gemini it's been a long time coming it's time to reward yourself for all of that hard work that's the clarifying deck so let's get into the tarot part of your reading someone is going to give you some unexpected support and help this person is enlightened they're spiritual they're passionate they get things done and they probably have a crush on you. You made a decision. You were at the crossroads. You made that decision. 
now it's that wheel of fortune it's moving you in the right direction whether you're yeah, being carried there or on your own accord you've made that decision so now the universe is moving that wheel forward i think that because you were in the east part of that that shaman circle of deciding what is it what i want for my future now and then going for it let's cut the deck four of earth oh gosh did you take a step backward into the west or the south holding on to things events past pains that need to be let go or holding on to a toxic relationship that needs to be let go perhaps you're just saving your money for this explorative your exploratory trip ace of earth there's your brand new beginning it's going to bring you stability wealth balance being grounded feeling really good about yourself the ace of earth is is that beautiful new opportunity from the universe to build on your legacy chariot you're moving quickly forward now gemini towards whatever it, this is you've decided to go in whichever direction you try first decided to go and you are going to be victorious rise above the rest shine outshine the rest and it is worthy of celebration so you're out there exploring someone shows up in the midst gives you that you know boost hopefully not the pat on the butt and it's worthy of celebration you're going out this looks like travel to me or a new business venture that you're going to be victorious in something worth celebrating there's that thing from the last needing to let go of toxic relationships needing to let go of those events altogether it's funny because i found myself i was uh driving to the the store today gemini and i you know what kept going through my head was i want to forget the past help me to forget the past i mean it's not a matter of um but i do want it erased from my memory altogether i no longer want to reflect on what the lessons were i don't even care what the lessons are anymore i just want to forget it erase it from the memory and i think this is what you're trying to do nine of air you've been up in your head worried sleepless nights blah sick of that seven of fire this place you built is solid solid ground you won't lose it but it also looks like you're going to be expanding you've got the magic why is this at the heart of your reading gemini come on you're as bad as me needing to literally erase some of these thoughts not necessarily erasing memories but you need to erase these thoughts make the conscious effort like when you fall into them uh, think about this new trip this new exploration you're going into and go into it with expectation and excitement because the sun's going to shine on you and crown you in that glory this new cycle is going to be wonderful for you you'll have balance you might pick up some souvenirs on the way and then in comes the emperor or you become the emperor depending on if you're a male or female the empire stepping into the world of empires so let's clarify this this is the muse within the dreams so this is how this person is seeing you you could be dealing with a fire sign not necessarily it could be male or female doesn't matter but they are seeing you as the muse within the dream or perhaps perhaps you are putting out the intentions into the universe that muse within the dream i want you to bring me a soulmate that is enlightened has a big heart also knows how to get things done no slouches please yeah you put down those burdens you were done with it finito over 
So here we are, that holding on, that holding on energy. Are you holding on to the events of the past that you need to get rid of? Are you holding on to toxic relationships are you, or are you just saving money? I said that, didn't I? Ugh, let's move on. Eight of Swords. You feel trapped. You feel like you're never going to have this new beginning because it's been such slow going. But truly, the message here is, Gemini, you need to break the habit of working on yourself and allow the universe to just um, flow, float you through. This Fibonacci spiral is a period of growth and going with the flow. Five of Swords, you're moving fast away from any conflicts, away from all these toxic energies and people. Away, away, away. Seven of Cups means you're going to have a lot of opportunities. And you doesn't matter which one you pick, Gemini. You're going to be victorious over it. The only confusion is, where do I want to go? Putting out that intention. Where do I want to go? It is uh, decision time what direction you want to go but you are moving to calmer waters it's like a knowing gemini knowing that you're going to succeed knowing that you're going to celebrate and in that knowing there's this calmness that comes over you now three of air you truly thought this was the one and maybe it is but regardless you have to cut them out. Let them go. Nine of air. Please help me forget. Please help me forget how I always hoped that this was going to bring my ten of cups. Or please um, not worry. Here you are worried about whatever situation you're in. What if it doesn't bring my ten of cups? What if this choice I made doesn't bring my ten of cups? Yeah, that's like praying for something you don't want. Seven of fire, standing your ground. Oh yeah, you fought hard for this, this ground you gained. And it was shaken right to the ground. The beauty of this, the beauty of this is that this is always yours. Whatever got shaken by this tower, you did not lose except what was on top. You didn't lose at all. This is still standing. The hermit you could be dealing with a virgo but yeah gemini it's stopped it's time to come out of hermit mode it's time to come out and get some sun it's time to revel in the sun and rejoice in the sun and just be thankful for the sun i think that in itself is going to light up the left side of your brain i say that uh in the most endearing terms six of earth the two of wands yeah this decision is going to bring balance in your life and i think that decision that you're trying to make right now or you should be trying to make right now is where am i going to go for a picnic or where am i going to go for a weekend where am i going to go to start something new just do it the emperor and the three of cups Look at this. Uh, you win. You get your empire. You get your empire. I'm going to bring more of uh, information out on this as to who these, the em emperor is, who the king of fire is. Could be the same person. See the outcome and the advice over at the extended join us over there personal readings are open for a limited time and on special in the members area uh, to to join as a member it's only ten dollars but it gives you access to all of the extended readings for afternoon delight and the, all the zodiacs for a month and you can ask me a question under any of those extended readings like if this resonates for you and i'll pull you a card to help personalize it come and join us at the facebook as well gemini we give out a message every day god bless you and I'll see you again.
soon if I don't see you at the extended. Bye for now.